So really, I can't have him pull off some magic crap and just drag me into the real world with some magic CGI. No, that probably won't happen. Oh, of course. Uh, I'm just gonna... I'm just getting ready for a little... Uh, what is it? Uh, I'm trying to get ready for later on today. Uh, yeah, it, it is around dinner time for you, huh? I can see that. Yeah, it is. I mean, but for you, it's like morning over there, or... It is morning, huh? Oh yeah, that reminds me, while we're talking about my s the Rob, he has a bumbling sidekick. And his name is? It's Reek, it's Reek. R-E-E-H-C. The, the, the guy who came up with the name was a uh, true who. Oh, of course. I was like wrecking my brain for a name to give a bumbling sidekick. He's like the comic relief guy. And I love his squeaky I... voice, man. That squeaky voice is done, I recall- Basically, their voices- one of them sounds like a really, really monotonous guy, that would be the Rob, with a really boomy bass voice, making him sound like exactly like those anime villains, like those guys who just sit there, do nothing, blabber, talk, blabber. Then Rick, he's the guy who uh, has a high-pitched, fast-paced voice. They're both done by just speeding up and changing the pitch, really. It's not too bad. Sorry about that. I, I really do like Reek. And uh, you know Reek is awesome. I actually like Reek better than De than Darab for obvious yeah, reasons. Yeah, I can see that. But uh, yeah, it is often ridiculously tough to animate the two of them at the same time because uh, for the most part, earlier on, I was just the very first time I just put the voice clip on the video and did nothing with it. But then eventually, it got to the point where I had to animate uh, eye expressions. And it got really tough to make these make these updates. Mm, I can see why you don't do it as often. Uh... Yeah, I don't do it like every single update. Like maybe okay on occasion, I will do it just for the fun of it, just to make things not as boring. Otherwise, you'll hear my boring voice every single time. <laughs> oh, Connus, you never cease to amaze me. You never cease to amaze me, man. Seriously. Oh, but but yeah, I, I do like Reek. Um, Reek is actually, you know, what the fact that I found that Reek uh, did wish, I, I forget if it was, uh, what is it, uh, Pika Pika Pawa or uh, Truhu, a happy birthday. It was, uh, uh, now, I, now my mental, now I have a mental block. I think it was Pika. I could be wrong now that I think about it. Yeah, because I think Pika actually made a song for Reek, but, well, I don't know whatever happened to it, but uh, I, I, I did like that little song that Pika made for him. Uh, yes, I, I, I still have it. The only thing is, I because the thing is, with these updates, I have to pay attention to the volume, so I was like messing with the volume of the song, and it became a bit annoying, but I think I may have gotten it down, because... For a time, I actually their their voices were actually masked up by the music. But now, uh, with Camtasia, I can actually just blast the voice in the background, meaning I can actually blast the song. Oh, and that song will only play when that the first guy when he shows up as well. This guy represents again then of the overzealous part of my fan base. This will be the overzealous fan. It's like it's like having a it's like um it's like I'm categorizing my fan base under three broad categories. Mm hmm The overzealous fans are like, hey, 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 come on, come on. I, I, I can't wait for your next video. Uh, can you please upload it? Blah, 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 blah. And then I, you have the guy who's like, oh, you suck at YouTube. Get lost. <laughs> it's like I am ca characterizing these guys. So sometimes when I have a tough spot, I will have both these guys show up just to either voice their support or throw me down some more. It's, it's like a sort of a, it's sort of like a, a game, I could say. Because in real life, we will all have that game. We will all have that part of our mind who's like, You will not survive in YouTube. Get lost. <laughs> <laughs> then there's also the part where it's like, No, you will totally survive. You can do this. So yeah, it's like that. It's yeah. that's basically the Rob and Reek in the updates. They're both based off the Maita enemies from Bubble Bobble I, I, because they're both cute. Yeah, I, I really do like... Um... Yeah, you know, you do such a great job with those uh, characters that... It could be better, but uh, this is pretty much the best I can do with PowerPoint so far until I come up with something better, because... Like, every single time I try to make it better. Like, the first time it was just generic, second time I think I added a castle, 
third time I added facial expressions or was it moving when the voice clips actually move or something? Yeah. The, was it the fourth time it was, they were actually moving? And the most latest one, which is the tag special, and I'm not sure if anyone actually stayed around to the end of the video. I had him in an airship. Hmm. I'll have to, I'll have to look at that some more, but, uh, that's, but, like I said, it's, for the, for the most part, you do a great job with it, and, uh, I can't wait to hear from uh, Reek and uh, Darab some more in the future. I guess uh, I, I wouldn't... Uh, there was a time where I was animating them really smoothly, but then I had this very big house-moving program. You know that, right? I just set it down in my new house. I guess that will be the last topic we can talk about today. Yes. I mean, for this interview. But uh, and to then, I'm going to carry on talking about Darab and Reek. So for the most part, it became a little bit ridiculously tough to record because... The way I do stuff, I pre-record stuff well in advance. That came back to bite me in the butt, though. You see, um, remember that Mega Man ROM hack I was talking about? Yeah. Well, you see, um, I pre-recorded two episodes of version 0 0.97. That was the latest version for quite some time. I believe it was released in August 2014. Then, by some sheer ridiculous coincidence, on December the 6th, 2014, the full final version came out. Oh, I, I can't tell you how mad I was, yet how happy I was. Yeah, I, I can see that because uh, that's kind of like, um, what is it? Uh, I noticed that the beta version of, uh, it's called uh, Town of Salem. It was at number 8, but then they released the official version at, at version 1. So... Um, but otherwise, it didn't really do much for me because, well, I didn't record anything. But still, uh, I, I but I can understand the sentiment uh, for your in your case, though. Well, to be fair, version zero point nine seven and version one doesn't really change much. Luckily for me, it didn't really change too much stuff. In fact, so far from playing the new versions, the only changes I could detect right now were. A few sound effect changes, and then uh, one of the power-ups got nerfed again. That one was like nerfed every time a new update comes up. I might as well tell you about it. It's the Hell Wheel power-up. It's basically a combination of Wheel Kirby and um, and the Geo Satellite from Mega Man 9. Jules. So yeah. I've never heard of it? Okay, how about um, Skull Burial or um, any one of those shield power-ups? So basically, when this thing first came out in 2008, it was unhorribly balanced. You can sweep the entire game with it. Every single beta, almost every single release after that, was exist to nerf that thing. It was the most broken power-up ever. You move so ridiculously fast. Yeah, I said it was like... It's like having a shield power-up and moving at the speed of sound. Wow, yeah. I, I You know what? I, I can uh, see what... That's all about, really. Yeah, it got nerfed. First, they added some stuff like you move faster or you can't cancel out of it while j jumping. Then they added stuff like you can jump, but then uh, supposedly you take damage when you hit enemies unless they only hit your shield. Then they did screw around with the uh, the energy <laughs> it needed to make things up. In the end, it was still broken when version 0 0.97 came out. But in this new version, they actually nerfed it. Quite a bit. I, I can't get used to the new one. Yeah, well, I don't know if if that makes you feel bad or if it... Nah, I never use that power-up anyway. It's for speedrunners. Well, okay, well... It's... In fact, uh, th th this, this ROM hack was actually speedrun in the AGDX. Or was it Summer Games Done Fast or something like that? It was, it was speedrun on a charity stream. Oh, okay. I did it in an hour. Well, okay, well that's, 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 uh, incredible. So yeah, about pre-recording, yeah, I was mentioning, yeah, it kind of sucks that I pre-recorded the previous version of the game before that. But it didn't really change much, so that's good for me. But yeah, I basically pre-record a bunch of stuff. That's how, that's the way I record. I pre-record videos. Yes. So when I was in the middle of my interim house, because I moved from my old house to an interim house to my current new house, I couldn't record a lot. I really couldn't. I basically pre-recorded the bare minimum to last me until December the 14th. That was pretty much where it ended. 
Well, it got so bad that in fact when my exams ended, the first video, I, I uploaded my update video, right? Yes. For once it wasn't pre-recorded 10,000 weeks in advance, yeah. So I really couldn't animate poor the Rob and Rick a lot during those times, but yeah. I guess I could have them a lot. Well, I mean, how, how's your new house going along? How's my new house? Uh, yeah, that will be the last topic I'm talking about. I like it. It's quite spacious and it's really, really quiet. And I can I can tell because your brother's not next to you. What? Your brother's not next to you. He is. He is still. In, oh, he's not in the same room anymore. But he's still in the room next to me. Oh well, that's when I met. Like. Yeah, I guess so. Well, that you know, because last time we were on Skype phone, uh, he was there. Like, and he was raging on Team Fortress 2, or was it Dota 2? I, I can't remember, it was one of those games. Yeah, but the, fa but the fact that he's not, like, that he hasn't uh, interrupted, uh, that, I, I've, I've noticed that. Yeah, so this new house is really spacious, I quite like it, in fact, I really like it. Well, that's good for you, man. I, I really am happy that uh, you're happy, and that's probably the greatest thing that... Yeah, we, we as friends we do care for one another. I, I, I sent I sent to you my condolences when he got robbed. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't really do much. I couldn't get you that we. I believe the good folks at Much Games Guides got you that we, right? Yeah, it, it's really good. It really is. Uh, but it does have quite a number of limitations. Like for like the relatively new games, like. The wrestling game that I was doing, as well as uh, Skyward Sword, like I wanted to do those, but I, w I would then be taken to an update screen, and you know what happens what if I was to say yes. Yeah, I roughly do. Yeah. All your modifications would go. Mm hmm. And I might even potentially uh, kill the Wii and just have it as if it died. Yeah, so yeah, that is. that would be kind of bad. So yeah, as friends, we should stick out for one another. That's that's another. That, that's probably the last piece of advice I'm gonna give to you, new Uber tubers. Yes. Make friends. Make good friends who would stick out for you. In terms, in times of crisis. Yes, and I just want to say, even though you didn't send me anything, just the fact that you stayed by me or stood by me is. All that I could have ever asked for you, and same thing with everybody else that has. I mean, of course, my new subscribe, some newer subscribers wouldn't have known that, but um, but I just want to say thank you, and I really mean that. And thus ends the interview, I think. Yes. So uh, let me just do the outro. Uh, so, uh, Con is bored. Yes. Uh, have a good day. Yep, you too. God bless and take care, or whatever it is that you believe in, but take good care. Uh, yeah, I understand. And best of luck in all of your future endeavors. Uh-huh, uh, same to you, bud. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but for everybody else, this is Tiju22, and... Oh, is bored. Uh, I wonder how many people you're gonna interview, though. You have, like, a load of them. I know, but the thing is, well, uh, one more thing I wanted to mention. The thing is, ever since uh, my interview with uh, LP Grotus, um, my, my bookings for interviews have just gone up. So, if anything... They really have, huh? So, if anything... Well, I wonder how backlog this will be. Knowing my luck, this will probably end up being uploaded uh, January 2015 or February 2015. Probably because, I mean, you, you I, I am behind by one interview with um, Shy yes, Guy. you told me that. I just realized. So, yeah. But, hey, uh, well, I got to get to his first before I get to you, so... Uh, yeah, that, that, that's, that's just being fair. That's just being fair, and plus, uh, there's... There's a couple of uh, there's one other person that I've yet to interview that I would like to interview and that's um, let's well not actually spoil it. yeah let's not spoil, let's not it, spoil yeah. it but anyway um, yeah until then this is uh, to Jew twenty two and Connor's board saying goodbye and anything else you want to say to the fans well um, if you want to go check out my channel and be an anti violent fighter go right ahead uh, uh, though I doubt I managed to convince you I was just blabbering with my good friend over the past how long has this interview been? 
Total time about two hours ten minutes. Wow. Yeah, close to. Uh, but hey, we had a lot of fun. Uh, but uh, do check out his channel though; it's really good. So I'll be sure to put the um, the 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 link, link in the description. The link in the des description, and um, of course you can just go to his channel straight up, Connor's board. Uh, but. Until the next time we do an interview like this, or if you... Which will be probably very, very far in the future, I I presume. Yeah, uh, I would have to get really booked if that was the case, but hey. Uh, uh, I wonder how many people have booked you already. Don't spoil the names, but uh, maybe just say the number. Probably at least two or three. Maybe at least two. Um, at least two. That isn't too bad but I can see how busy you would be giving out interviews yeah I don't and I don't just oh and one other thing I want to uh, get this off my chest and that is if you are not a good friend to me like a good friend is someone who's been there that I know of and would like to do an interview with like I have to know you for a bit before I even uh, consider doing an interview with you because if not otherwise the interview will last less than 15 minutes because we really, because Tadju would have really no idea what to ask you. It's like, yes. let's say yes. your random user ABC. Um, let me think of what questions I can ask you. Uh, where do you come up with your username? Um, uh, that's it. <laughs> yes, exactly. So yeah, I have to know you before I even think about interviewing you. So uh, that's so I don't just do it for anybody. So you know. In other words, I am not one to be taken advantage of. So, you know, I'm not saying this to be mean. I'm just telling it like it is. So, um, so with that said, uh, well, goodbye, people. Yes, I had fun. I definitely did. Yes. So take care, and, uh, and that goes for you too, Connus Board. Uh huh. I, I get it. So take care and um, have a have a safe holiday. Uh, as well as a happy new year. Uh, yes. A happy Same to you. Although, chances are, by the time this is up, it'll be 2015 anyway. Happy 2015 to everybody. Yes, happy 2015. So, um, that's it. Have a nice day. Take good care. Bye. Bye. Bye.